So do I think that reading different screenplays helps you become a better writer? Oh yeah, of course it does. I know it does. So how do I know that? Uh, Cause this is how I learned to write screenplays. I didn't read any of the books. I just started uh, reading screenplays and watching movies and reading screenplays. And uh, at some point uh, I took the movie Unforgiven and I watched the movie, which I loved. And then I read the screenplay and then I watched the movie and then I read the screenplay and then I watched the movie and then I read the screenplay and then I watched the movie and then I read the screenplay. And when you do this, uh, you learn new things every time. And what happens is, is the nuts and bolts of how it was made start to, you know, percolate to the top. You build this awareness of why this was done, why that was done. Um, and a lot of that is in the screenplay. A lot of that you can put in the screenplay. The most important things you want in the screenplay, right? Some other things like set dressing and uh, clothing and stuff, those decisions are made down the line unless they are absolutely essential to tell the story. I would go so far as to say there is nothing that will make you a better screenwriter, creatively speaking, than reading great screenplays. And the better the screenplay, the more you're going to learn. You know, study the masters. Look up the greatest screenplays of all time and see what they did well. They won't all do everything well, but you will find certain screenplays that are just so far ahead of others. Uh, and the things that they do right will just leap out at you and you'll be like, amazing. Uh, you know, now I know how to do that. Now I know how they did that. And I'm not talking about formatting. The, the software does all that for you. I'm talking about story and character and emotion and the things that result in a final polished screenplay that's at a professional level. Great artists consume uh, great art. You know, they, they prime the pump, right? So um, as a cautionary tale, there was a time in my life where I stopped reading the truly excellent screenplays. And I also wasn't really reading any novels. Most of what I read was just nonfiction work and uh, read it, obviously. And also um, screenplays that were not the best. They were, you know, B minus screenplays, B screenplays that weren't produced that needed work. And my writing started to reflect that. You know, the screenplays I was writing, um, you know, looked, wrote, you know, they looked pro forma. It was not great. It was not descriptive. It was not emotional enough. And the way that I recalibrated my instincts was I started to read truly great work again. And I started to read the great screenplays, Michael Clayton, Unforgiven. And those things would recalibrate my idea of what great was so that I could aspire to it. 